blessed day, students, praying that you all are in good health, safe and sound in your own home. I am really glad that you still find time to listen to this video lesson, and that is highly appreciated. Anyways, today is another day to learn more about practical research, quantitative research in your case. So, let us start. Our lesson today, Lessons 5 and 6, will focus on the research title and background. At the end of this module, you are expected to number 1. Write a research title. Number 2. Describe the background of research. The following may be considered as basis for selecting the problems in technical and personal aspects. In technical criteria, number one, it must be significant to chosen field or specialization. Number two, pioneering or novel. Number three, originality. Four, it arouses intellectual curiosity. Five, relevance to degree. Six, Availability or manageability of data. 7. Availability of instruments. In personal criteria, we have number 1. Interest. 2. Training. 3. Expertise. 4. Financial capacity. And number 5. Time factor involved. The starting point of any research is the identification and definition of the research problem. This step is the most difficult one because while there are some guidelines in the selection and narrowing down of the problem, these are unlike the technical rules and requirements in the choice of research design and measurements. Often, these are only based on interests, skills, or workability. It is the basic issue or area of concern, the situation which exists and then how it ought to be. It should be defined precisely in the summary questions which will be answered by the proposed research should be stated. The problem may be stated in question form or given as a declarative statement. Here are the selected guidelines in the formulation of a research title. Number one. The title must contain the following elements. The subject matter or research problem. The setting or locale of the study. The respondents or participants involved in the study. And the time or period when the study was conducted. If the title becomes too long because of these elements, the time frame or period may be omitted except in evaluation studies. Number 2. The title must be broad enough to include all aspects of the study, but should be brief and concise as possible. Number 3. The use of terms such as analysis of, a study of, an investigation of, and the like should be avoided. All these are understood to have been done in a research. Number four. If the title contains more than one line, it should be written in inverted pyramid like the figure in this slide. Number five. When typed or encoded in the title page, all words in the title should be in capital letters. Number six. If possible, the title should not be longer than 15 substantive words. Number seven. Avoid a long detailed title that gives too much information. 
To shorten the title, delete the terms assessment or evaluation if these are already emphasized in the text. Moving on, let's have the characteristics of a good research title. Number one, a title should give readers information about the contents of the research and is preferable to one that is vague or general. Number two, titles do not need to be stuffy or dull, but they should generally give readers some idea at the outset of what the research paper will contain. Number three, choose a title that is a phrase rather than a complete sentence. Number four, select a straightforward title over other kinds. Number five, use no punctuation at the end of a title. And number six, do not underline the title of research or enclose it in quotation marks. Instead, use a word processing program or printer that permits italics. Use them in place of underlining. Here are some titles of researches approved in various disciplines or programs. 1. Higher Order Thinking Skills in Reading of Freshmen in University of Northern Philippines, Academic Year 2015-2016. Let's check if this title follows the guidelines mentioned. Guideline 1. Does it contain the following elements? It has subject matter or problem. Does it have the setting or locale? The respondents or participants? The time or period? Let's analyze it. For the subject matter or problem, the subject in this title is higher order thinking skills in reading. What is the setting or locale? University of Northern Philippines. Respondents, freshmen. The time or period, academic year 2015 to 2016. So, does it follow the first guideline? Yes. Guideline number two, is it broad enough to include all aspects of the study but brief and concise as possible? Obviously, yes. Moving on to the third guideline, does it avoid the use of analysis of, a study of, and an investigation of? Well, evidently, yes. Guideline number four. Since it contains more than one line, is it written in inverted pyramid? Oh, yes. Let's move on to guideline six. Is it not longer than 15 substantive words? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 substantive words. Then, it's a check. Here are other sample research titles. Number 1, Pinay Single Mom, Paghanga o Pagkutiya. A multi-case study on the lives and experiences of the solo parents in Sambongka City. You may notice that there is the word study. Well, the word study is needed to emphasize the type of research to be employed. In this case, in number one, a case study. Number two, abakada o abah kita. 
a multi-case study on child labor in the selected towns of the province of Laguna. Number three, magkapatid na parang asot pusa, magkasundo pa kaya? A multi-case study on siblings with rivalry in San Jose, Mindoro Occidental. Number four, establishment of jackfruit tea processing plant in Barangay Bantayan, Tabaco, Albay. Number five, level of acceptability of worksheets for film clippings by the teachers of English in University of Antique Academic Year 2015 to 2016. Number six, lives adjustment of Yolanda victims in Tacloban City. Number seven, Awareness on traffic rules and regulations of Tricycle Operators and Drivers Association in Barangay Kaliat, Quezon City, Calendar Year 2015. Number 8. Health Practices of Bachelor of Secondary Education, Major in Music, Arts, Physical Education and Health, or MAPE at University of Rizal System, Pililia, and Angono, Academic Year 2015-2016. Number 9. The level of acceptability of the tracing guide for children with cerebral palsy by the special education teachers in the Division of Pampanga, School Year 2015-2016. That ends our lesson today. Thank you for listening and see you next time.